Hey everybody, welcome back to your favorite gun channel on YouTube. I'm Matt, this is Minton State Firearms, and I hope that everybody had a great weekend. We got another great video for you here tonight, and I'm glad you could join. So what we're gonna be talking about tonight is some of the essential things that I think you should have in your kit going to the range or in your range bag. Everything from your typical things that you would think of, such as magazines, ammo, firearms, all the way up to some of the stuff that not everybody may think of. So we're gonna kick right off and get right into it. So like I said, we're gonna talk about some of your essentials, such as magazines. In this particular range bag, I have a 10 and a half inch 5.56 AR pistol, and I also have a pistol caliber carbine, nine millimeter that takes Glock mags. So I like to bring four or five magazines with me on each trip. Uh, I usually load a couple of them and then leave the, a couple of them unloaded just for something to do at the range because if I leave all my magazines loaded, I don't spend much time at the range because I just shoot and then all my ammo's gone and then my pocketbook hurts after that. So I try to load a few of them while I'm there. I keep a couple of them loaded um, just for that. So another thing that we're gonna have in our range bag is Ear Pro. Now these are Walker Razor Slim electronic earmuffs. If you've never used electronic earmuffs, these are a great option as are the Howard Late Impact Sports. Both of these are great um, options for electronic ear pro, and I would recommend either pair. I always keep a spare set with me just in case one of my buddies forgets his, or I have a problem with one of mine, I always have a spare set on me. I think that's a great idea for everyone to do. And I also keep a handful of foam earplugs in one of my range bags as well. And I take two or three pair of them with me just in case anybody at the range forgets their ear pro or if I'm doing a class and somebody doesn't bring ear protection, I always have spare with me to make sure that everybody is safe and has hearing protection. Kind of goes along with my next point and that is eye protection. So I keep a couple pair of just regular safety glasses in my range bag as well as a cheap pair of sunglasses in each one of my range bags. And that's just in case uh, the sun is extremely bright on one of the days and regular eye protection won't um, protect you from that element. So I keep, like I said, a couple pair of cheap sunglasses in my range bag. And uh, I don't care if they get banged around or broken because they're like $5 from the gas station, but they work. And uh, they're always good to have. So another thing that I keep with me is a couple sets of very cheap Allen wrenches um, in my range bags. I get those, I think they're five bucks a piece or seven bucks a piece off Amazon. I keep uh, a metric and a standard set in every one of my range bags. That way, if you have any problems with red dot sights, hand guards, any of your M-Lock accessories, or any of your optic mounts, you have the tools to do a quick fix right there, and you don't have to worry about ruining your range day, and uh, then you can correctly fix it once you get home. And kind of going along with that, I keep a small tube of blue Loctite in every single one of my range bags. Actually, I keep two or three of them in there. Just in case you uh, just finished up a build and you want to see how it runs and you don't know if your gas block is going to be lined up correctly or if something's not going to be tuned properly, you can take this to the range, make sure your gun runs, and before you put it back, back one of your screws off on your gas block at a time. Put some blue Loctite on it, tighten it back down to your spec, and then put it away and let the Loctite set. Same with handrails, optics mounts, or anything that you may use Loctite on. Definitely a good thing to have on you. Moving along here, another great thing to have is lube. I prefer shooter lube, they're two stage. I don't bring any solvent with me. I don't go to the range to clean my guns, um, but I do keep the lube in my bag just in case something runs dry or I'm having a problem cycling issues with something. I can make sure that it's oiled up properly and eliminate that from what could be wrong with a firearm, but just mainly to make sure that all my guns are oiled up and performing as they should. So I definitely like to keep oil, uh, preferably shooter lube, in every single one of my range bags. I also keep, this is part of my EDC. This is a multi-tool. This is a Leatherman Wave Plus. Um, I keep this on me. This is part of my EDC, so it's always with me. So every time I'm at the range or anywhere, I have this with me. Um, it's got a couple small screwdrivers. What I really like them for is zeroing in uh, pistol mounted red, red dots. And also some of the red dots that I have on my rifles have small turrets on them. And a small screwdriver like this works well. It also has a larger screwdriver for regular turrets on like an LPBO or a high power scope as well. 
So definitely a good thing to have. It's got pliers in it. Just uh, a great thing to have with you. You can get cheap ones to keep in your range bag. I prefer this one. This is my Leatherman Wave Plus, like I said. Uh, I definitely recommend this tool to anybody. So those are some of the things that, that maybe everybody has in their bag or maybe you haven't thought of. But what I think is of utmost importance that I haven't discussed yet, that everybody should take to the range with them or have on their person all the time is medical kits. So I have two medical kits here. This one is called my boo-boo kit. So this one covers anything from minor cuts, scratches, burns, and bruises to stings. Um, it's got hand sanitizer in it. I got a couple packs of um, sterile latex gloves in there, gauze, medical tape, um, ace bandage. Like I said, this is a boo-boo kit. If you get a slide bite, you burn your finger on your barrel, uh, you get stung by a bee, anything like that, you get a sliver, this covers that. Um, just about anything that you may encounter on the range, there's a, or any, in any day, everyday life, there's a fix for that in here. Like I said, I call it my boo-boo kit. It's got a Molly backing so I can hook it up to any of my, my range bags that have Molly systems on them. Definitely a great thing to have. You know, like I said, this covers everything. We got band-aids band in here, bandages, anything slight to semi-severe you can cover with this. And then more importantly, one that I hope that I never have to use is a trauma kit. So this is a trauma kit by Dark Angel Medical Supply. I would definitely check them out if you're interested in something like this. We have trauma shears in here. We have a Cat 7 tourniquet. We have two chest seals. So if someone ends up with a gunshot wound, a sucking chest wound, you can seal them up with this. Um, we have quick clot in there. It's a trauma kit. It is, it is made to save someone's life on the range or in any situation. You can be your, fir your own first responder. Um, the average time in a, nationally for law enforcement to respond to a call is four minutes and uh, usually double to triple that for EMS because they have to wait for uh, law enforcement to clear the scene if it's a gunshot wound. And uh, with that being said, also you will die from an arterial, arterial bleed in four minutes. So you don't have the four minutes to wait for law enforcement. This will get you where you need to be to patch someone up, stop the bleed and save their life until the professionals get there. Um, I keep both of these in my truck. Uh, I have another one of these that I keep on my person in certain circumstances. So these I think are the most important things you can have at the range. You can be someone's hero. You can save someone's life with this trauma kit as long as you know how to use it. And the other medical kit, it covers everything. Like I said, bumps, bruises, scratches, burns, bites, everything. So that's what I think that I prefer, my preference for in my range bag is. Now, I don't think that everybody, you know, if you have something to add, comment on the, the video. Let me know if, uh, if there's something I missed that you think is a, a positive thing to have in your range bag. I'm definitely open for suggestions. And uh, so I hope this helps. Next time you guys go out to the range, you think about putting some of this stuff in your range bag. Definitely the medical kits. I hope that's something that people uh, definitely take seriously and keep them uh, on your person or in your truck. If your truck's going to be close to you when you're shooting, definitely want to keep stuff like that on you. Not only at the range, but always. It helps uh, you stay prepared. You're much, you're much more likely to run into a, a car accident or a injury situation outside of the range. So it's always good to have that kind of stuff so you can help save somebody's life as well. So I hope that helps everybody with their range setup. If you like the video, share it, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you tag all your friends. We're gonna be doing some give, big giveaways here soon. Follow us on Facebook at Minton State Firearms and Training LLC. Follow us on Instagram at Minton State Firearms. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night and have a great upcoming week. Thanks.